All right, welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining in again on week number seven oh, of Go wow. for Live. Week number seven. It's crazy how fast time goes. Um, sorry for if there's any noise in the background. We got neighbor cutting the grass. Um, so again, thanks for joining us for week number seven. Um, we again, we just wanted to start by saying uh, we want to be a, a resource for you guys now and in the future. Um, if there's anything we can do for you guys, let us know. Type in the chat, uh, chat box is the comment section on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you're watching us. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a shout out where you're, where you're hailing from. So um, again, we figured if we cannot attend the state shows and the district-wide PDs, why not bring the Gopher booth to you guys? So we got some cool equipment. We um, today we're gonna be talking about more of our home PE packs that we did not get to. Um, a few weeks back, um, I think in week five, I'm kind of losing track of my episodes yeah, here, but right. uh, we love doing it. So thanks, thank you guys for joining in. And as always, you can view all of our free resources online at www.gophersport.com backslash home learning. Um, you'll see our PE huddle, um, our active home challenges. We got a really fun active home challenge for you guys today. Yeah. You can go back and watch the old Go For Live episodes if you missed one. Um, as always, we have our PE universe. Uh, we have some cool home videos put on by PE teachers for PE teachers. Um, we have our Spark Home um, activity guides and sports activities out there. And we got our dynamic PE ASAP. And then again, um, our, at, our at home equipment substitutions. So um, go check that out, goforsport.com backslash home learning. Um, but today we got a very, very special guest. Um, he's been a friend of mine for the last five years. Andy has known him well. Um, his name is Jason Gemberling. He is a high school PE teacher in at Midwest High School in Middleburg, PA. Smack dab in the heart of PA. Um, just think about the Little League World Series in Williamsport, and that's basically where he's located. So he actually, I think he actually started that many years ago, didn't he? Started. Williamsburg, no. Yeah, <laughs> he is the founder of Little League Baseball, <laughs> Jason Gemberling. Jason, first of all, thank you for joining us. How have you been? I've been great. Thanks for having me on, guys. And no, I did not start Little League. I actually <laughs> never, even, I never even played Little League. What? I was gonna say he's a track coach, so I, I don't <laughs> know how guy. track and uh, baseball would work out. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, what are you, what are you doing out in PA to keep yourself busy? Uh, you know, right now it's we're we're coming out of some of the counties of Pennsylvania are coming out of our stay-at-home orders, so we're able to get outside a little bit more, um, kind of get together with a little bit more friends and family. Just got to keep the numbers down. Um, other portions of the state are kind of still in that lockdown order, but trying to keep busy, uh, emailing students, students emailing us, getting workouts and and uh, phys ed plans to them through our grading software program. Uh, I also. Uh, you know, I have my track kids doing track workouts. So just any way I can communicate with them is kind of what I've been doing. Yeah, that's a tough one, especially I'm sure the track, the whole track season was canceled, but you still have underclassmen and kids coming up that still want to basically pretend like there's a season. What, 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 what have you done with those, with your athletes? Uh, you know, it's, it's more just trying to tell them, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking that we lost our season. But, uh, you know, if we can get something out of it as far as getting training, get into a routine and stay stay in shape, then build through the summer and then get them back in the fall, whether it be cross country, football, soccer, um, field hockey, uh, whatever it is they're doing. That way they don't lose everything um, that we typically kind of gain or maintain coming off their winter season. So right. just trying to keep them keep them motivated. Yeah. And keep them to stay positive because they're not the only ones dealing with this. I know it's tough for the seniors that won't have this next year, but uh you still got to keep them active, keep them motivated. Um, I guess, what have you been doing with your kids at home? Are they, what are they doing? <laughs> my, my, I have an uh, eight and a half year old and I, my daughter just turned 12 on Cinco de Mayo. So last Tuesday, ah. she was Taco Tuesday. It was great. <laughs> uh, you know, we outside walking. Uh, my daughter's been doing phys ed class with me online. Uh, my son's been running around. We get out, um, you know, we live in a very rural area. Um, there's trees all around us, so they're climbing trees. Uh, we we opened our swimming pool early, uh, thinking, you know what, it's going to be great. And then Saturday it was snowing. You know, it <laughs> hasn't been above 50 degrees we, we since are we all opened. Too familiar with that. Yeah, we know how you feel about that. Um, yeah. And I, 
through the grapevine, I heard about this Facebook group that you got going on. Would you mind telling us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. So my daughter and I decided we would do phys ed class online on Facebook. Uh, it was just sort of a spur of the moment thing. Just another way, like I said, to reach out uh, to students. I started doing it on my own Facebook account and I was like, wait a minute, I got people that I don't know from all over the place. <laughs> So I was like, let's do a different. So I started, I just called it, it was lame at, at best. I just called it P with Gemberling. Um, so I, I, my creativity was not flowing that day. So, you know, we just get on there. It was, we were trying to do it every day, but you know, my responsibilities got a little bit more with work. Um, my daughter's schoolwork got a little bit more intense. My wife is a third grade teacher. Her workload got, so it got to be a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. So now we just, we rock out every Tuesday and Thursday that I can be there in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I get on, I act like a goofball like I am. We do different <laughs> workouts. Um, I just started today trying to, you know, child, child kids and their parents, you know, field day is one of those great, great things that a lot of kids, especially at the elementary level, love to do. Um, and my high school kids usually volunteer to help, which, so they're kind of missing that opportunity this year. So mm -hmm. I was, I've just given suggestions. I'm going to do two or three a day on at-home field day activities you could try. Um, today it was uh, – the, the circle house run will just run around your house 10 times, have your parents time you uh, just to be just something different, you know, give them a little distance run. So it's just trying to, to reach people in different ways and get them active. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Um, and for those out there watching, Jason's going to be joining Dr. Bob in this week's ep episode of the PE huddle. Jason, can you kind of give us a brief rundown of what you and Dr. Bob are going to be talking about? Um, it's going to be, it's still be similar to what he's been talking with, with all the other guests that he's had on, um, just sort of how I'm handling things uh, here in Pennsylvania, what our, what our schools have been doing, things like that, ideas, suggestions, maybe hopes and dreams of where we could go in here, here soon. Yeah. Um, just to also thinking about, you know, what we can do as phys ed teachers, you know, like you guys are doing this, which is usually at the trade shows, at the conferences that we aren't going to get this year, you know, you know, shapes canceled. A lot of the summer stuff has been canceled, falls up in the air. You know, um, I usually do the, the a phys ed summit in PA and Adam is coming in and I, it's just probably not going to happen. I just yeah. don't know how we're going to make it work. Yeah. So, you know, just trying to figure out ways and talk through ways of, of people being able to find new resources and um, being creative. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And how about your, have you worked with Dr. Bob in the past? What's your relationship been like with him? Uh, I, I met Dr. Bob through, you know, go for pep summits after we won our pep summit, um, well, back in 2010, uh, Gopher did some awesome summits. I met him there, talked to him with all of those. Um, he's actually been to Pennsylvania a couple times. He like you loves our, our, uh, outdoor areas, you know, our recreational opportunities as far as outdoors. So I've talked to him many times. I've, you know, emailed him and, and sent him messages, asking him questions and input. So it's, it's not like, um, you know, we're besties, you know, I don't, yeah. you know, rock out parties at his house, but you know, he's always really open to anybody. If they have questions, you know, to help out in any way you can, he's really great about that. And you guys share the same barber too. So yes, that, we that, do. That. You, know? you know, I know you guys are jealous. I know you guys are jealous. We're getting yeah. there too. Just, You're going to someday yeah. be just like us. So, you know, if you need any tips, up. you can let us know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess awesome. you have anything. For no, Jason? just as good seeing you as always, Jason, hopefully you and the family are doing well, man. And, uh, look forward to seeing you again in the future here. Yeah, uh, same to you guys. I hope everybody stays well. And uh, I, again, I hope we can get together soon too. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Well, thanks again for joining good us, Jason. Good luck on Thursday. Yeah, take care. Hey, thanks, guys. Take, take care. care. Stay well. Yeah, have a good day. Awesome stuff. Thanks. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so that's cool. That's great. Jason is such a great guy. Um, you know, he's, he's, he, he has so much knowledge about um, physical education and, and uh I'm excited to see what him and Dr. Pangrazy talk about. Absolutely, be yeah. Really, really good. So, so again, uh, PE Huddle with Jason Gemberling and Dr. Bob Pangrazy at 2 o'clock Central Time on Thursday afternoon. 2 o'clock, tune in. Yeah, cool. So I think now we're going to get on to the, the daily challenge. So uh, thanks again, Jason, for, for doing that. So now we're going to get into the, the daily challenge uh, posted every morning at 8 a.m. on social media. Um, and this week's is actually the 2020 elementary PE teacher of the year. And that's going to be Will Potter. Uh, he's got a fantastic one for Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so we're going to cue that up here and then we're going to do the activity afterwards. Hi everyone. I'm William Potter from Serendipity School in Belmont, California. And I was recently named the Shape America 2020 
National Elementary Physical Education Teacher of the Year. And today I'm gonna to share with you the Taco Chef workout. Now the way the Taco Chef workout works is like this. You are gonna have your ingredients here. I have my ingredients right here. And the more ingredients you add, the harder the workout challenge becomes. Bonus points if you give yourself a loaded taco, but I'm gonna give you my taco version right now. So it's gonna start with a hard shell taco and that's 10 jumping jacks. I'm gonna add some steak to that taco shell for 10 squats. Next, I'm gonna add some diced tomato, which I have right here. From there, I'm gonna add some cheese. Now the cheese is gonna cost me a 30 second plank. Next up, I have some sour cream. Got it in there. All right, and last but not least, the guacamole. Now we all know guac is extra. So now that I got my taco belt, I'm ready to enjoy it. But before I can enjoy it, I have to do the workout. Can you do this workout? Take a video and share it online using the hashtag Active Home Challenge. Did you see how fast he did those yeah, push-ups? he's an and athlete. Like, Look at I that. mean, that was amazing. Will Potter, you are, <laughs> you are an athlete. I mean, that was... That wasn't high speed or fast forward or anything. That, That's, yeah. He's really good. So again, that was the 2020 Elementary PE Teacher, uh, teacher of the Year, Will Potter. Uh, great guy. I've, I've uh, met him a number of times out at different conferences. So thank you for that awesome challenge. And we thought, well, why not have our own taco bar here? It's, say it. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's really good. So we're going we're gonna to actually have Carter and Kira are here again today. So we're actually going to do our own. We're going to make our own taco. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to see what we have and we're not going to eat the taco here on, on camera, but we're going to, we're not the actual, actual, we can eat them after. Okay. All right. Okay. I didn't I mean, eat you're going to have so three or four of them. So. That's true. <laughs> so we're going to make our tacos. We're going to have actually video Joe come out. The guy that has been behind the scenes for all these, these weeks. And we're going to make a taco here. And I have the actual stuff here. So, um, Carter, you want to come up first and grab a hard shell or a top, a, a soft shell. So if you do a, a hard shell, it's going to be. Uh, 10 jumping jacks or a soft shell is going to be, um, I'm sorry, a soft shell is 10 cross jacks and a hard shell is 10 jumping jacks. So you want that? Okay. And then pick your meat and we don't have steak and chicken. All we have is beef. So he's going to make his beef right here. He's going to put beef in there and then you can pick your toppings. So we got cheese right here. We got taco sauce. We have lettuce right here. And we have hot sauce and we have refried beans. <laughs> so you go ahead and, and make your, your um, salad. Actually, let's move this off to the side so Adam can make one too. I might as well jump in here. Talk. I'm oh, going to do a hard shell. Ahead. Video Joe, you want to come out? Come on in, Joe. Say hi to everybody. There's Video Joe. He's the one of the... The magic behind the scenes yes. right there. Check out that beard. Don't get any so of the sure, taco. So Carter, make sure you're adding here so... So you got, um, you're gonna have 10 squats for the, for the uh, beef, and you're gonna have, um, you're gonna have 30 second plank for the cheese. Ooh. You want any hot sauce or any taco sauce? Put a little taco sauce on there. Anyone want refried beans? So you gotta, you gotta keep track kind of of what you're doing. So I got Just lettuce, process. cheese, hard shell, and Just a little bit, bud. beef. All right. That's good, buddy. All right. I'm just going to set this off to the side. Go ahead, set side. it off to the side. I really should eat it and then work off my taco, but I'm going to do it backwards. <laughs> and this was a fantastic idea by, by Will Potter. So I am going to do mine real quick here. I'm going to do a soft shell as well. Carter, go ahead and put it up on the, on the shelf here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do some beef right here. I got some, uh, Hot jalapeno and pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna put on there. I'm gonna do a little bit of Jumping lettuce. Jack squats. 
I'm gonna do a little Tiny. bit of lettuce here. I'm gonna put some mm. hot sauce on mine. I'm gonna go. get to a, a quick shout out here. We got uh, one shout out, Mary Sprague Cluley again. Hey Mary. Mary. Thanks hi. for joining us. She says, thank you, Video Joe. Video She's enjoyed these awesome. Gopher Live sessions. So. You wanna take this with, take this over here and then we'll do our workouts, <clears throat> okay? So let's bring this over here. Andy nope. and I are trying to get our beard as nice as Joe's, so we got a, about two more years left um, <laughs> to get there, but uh, we're trying. So, All right, so everyone know what their exercises yep. are? So I'm going to do oh, jumping jacks, so let's do our jumping jacks, Carter. Come on, Carter. We have, we have to burn off the, the, the calories beforehand. All right, so ready? Ten jumping jacks. Go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Eight, nine, ten. ten. And now we all have beef, so we're going to do the squats. Okay. So ten squats. Ready? Go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. So what else was there? There was... I have cheese on mine. Cheese? That's 30-second plank? Oh, boy. Is that a plank? Side plank. All right. Yep. We'll do some side planks. Anybody got a watch? No. 19, 20, <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nice. Um, what else we got on there, Joe? I didn't put any on mine. I don't have mine. Uh, hot sauce. I had some hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay. High knees? High knees. Ten high knees. Ten high knees. You guys are doing with me? You guys I, I got hot sauce. All right, let's do it. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Nice. All right. Now I don't feel, feel so bad eating that, that taco. <laughs> right. I think we're good. I, I didn't go, I didn't go Taco idea. Supreme for this one, so. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Carter. I'll call you back. Okay. <laughs> so let's put that off to the side. Thanks, Carter. Thanks, Joe, for joining us. Yes. Thank you, Joe. And then we're going to get to, uh, I think Andy's going to get to a question here. Oh, yeah. So if you guys, again, if you guys have any questions for us, um, put them in the comments section, put them in the chat box. Um, we'll try to get to as many as we possibly can today. Um, and just give us a shout out. Let us know where you're where you're coming from. Okay, so while you're looking at that, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the question, and then we're gonna get into another part of the show, and then I go ahead and put those into that chat box. So my question is, do you have any special plans for your students for the end of the year? So I know a lot of schools are, are coming to the end now. So do you have any special plans for your students before the year wraps up? Uh, Eric Meyer from New Jersey. Eric, again, yeah, Another, nice. uh, thank you. Yeah, he's tuning in quite, quite often. So thank yeah. you, Eric and Mary, for tuning in once again. Um, yeah, that's we it. We didn't that's talk about the weather. So again, yeah. <laughs> here it's very sunny. Uh, it is, uh, I think it's like mid-50s, yep. uh, but very nice. So again, if you're, if you're logging in, uh, tell us where you're at, the temperature, and so on. And if you have any questions again. And if you have so. any questions, yeah. So cool. Okay, so um, I think we're going to go on to um, PE Home. So um, I think Joe's going to bring up the screen here. So again, this is the, the six-week subscription boxes that are mailed out uh, one pack per week. Uh, two weeks ago, we, had, we unveiled three packs, and I think today we're going to unveil three more packs, and we're going to do some activities with those. Yep. So again, the basic pack is $170. And that is for six weeks subscription. And then you get free shipping with that. And you get all that stuff in that pack right there. And then the, the deluxe pack is, again, the same thing, six weeks, um, free shipping. Uh, you get a, a, ba a box every week. And then you get actually more equipment with that stuff as well. So uh, the cool thing that Gopher just started is for every subscription ordered, you get to pick out where your kids go to school and then that your school gets an actual $10 gift card for making that subscription. So again, these are meant for parents to buy for their kids at, at home. And then when they get done ordering it on gopher.com, gophersport.com, 
and it'll, it'll say you can pick the school that your kid goes to, and then we'll tally that at Gopher. And I think the promo goes till till Labor Day. Till Labor Day. Yeah. So yeah, so you, so got, you got plenty of time uh, over summer. I know uh, here in Minnesota, I, uh, you know they're going to make more decisions coming up here. But it, you know, baseball, softball. You know, I don't know if that stuff's going to happen this summer or not. I know my kids are bummed out. They want to play baseball, softball, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So, again, looking for activities for the kids. You can share this with the parents. And, if again, if they buy a subscription for at home, they can pick the school, and then the school gets a $10 a gift, card gift card from Gopher. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and we're going to actually go through, uh, through some of this stuff right here today. And like we did two weeks ago, we did kind of the unveiling of the boxes. Yep. And we're going to do that again here. So I did kind of a drum roll last week, <laughs> and we are going to be doing the jumping pack now. So included in the jumping pack, Andy, when you when I uh, pull them out, if you want to list All them right, off Vanna, here. Show me what you got. So we got uh, <laughs> beautiful seven-foot jump rope. Okay, we got some other <laughs> jump ropes here. Um, we already boxed these ones or unboxed these ones because we're going to be using them. Okay, we got a seven foot jump rope, an eight foot jump rope, and a nine foot jump rope. And these are the never wear segmented jump ropes. So you got the uh, vinyl piece on the bottom, so when it's constantly hitting the ground, it's not gonna wear away. Hence the, the clever name, never wear. Yeah, it's very clever. So you got the jump ropes here. We got, let's see, we, we got, got some spots. Two double dutch ropes, which we have out on, yep. the, on the driveway. We're gonna attempt um, doing double dutching. I we're think, gonna later try. On. So we're, we're gonna, gonna try, try that. See how that works. It's been many years since <laughs> we were we've been swinging the rope, so we're yep. gonna try that as well. And then we got the uh, the gopher tough spots here. So a rainbow set of the tough spots, and then it comes with the Chinese jump rope, right here. Very cool. And then we got our resident oh whirlwinds our whirlwind two of the whirlwinds two whirlwinds and this is again the deluxe pack okay so you get two of the whirlwind um activities Fun here back back in 96 i actually made it to the olympics Whoa. on on the whirlwind it, it was, oh it was a newer yeah. event back at that time well, but then, i made it i qualified it was, it was pretty good then you can demonstrate when yeah we're, when we get to these <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool pack and we're actually going to be doing some activities now yeah right? yep i got my wonderful kids here carter and kerrigan <clears> i don't know if we're going to need you right away um but but stay there and we're gonna here you got a big smile on your face You're excited <laughs> she's to come excited up again, aren't you? <laughs> she's excited so um, so the first is going to be some individual activities. So Andy, if you want to come out and join me. So no laughing at us because uh, we tried doing some of this and we weren't the greatest at it. So I'm going to use the nine foot jump rope. Gonna, Andy's going to use the eight foot. All right, we're going to go out here. Right, you got your in Andy's driveway. Yep. yep. So the first activity we're going to do is just, a, again, these are all individual activities. First one we're going to do is just the rocker jump, okay? So let's see how, how skilled we are with our rocker jump. Oh, so you got to just kind of rock back and forth, back and forth. Switch it up, Andy. Oh, boy. Look at that. All right. So that was the rocker jump, okay? Now another easy activity to do um, wherever you guys are is a side to side jump. So if you have a, a line in the concrete or if you want to write a line um, with chalk or something. So Andy's here, I'll just go here. We're just going to jump side to side. Side to side. <laughs> Don't want to get too close to your partner. Yeah. But, um, so that's the side to side. And then the last one. Um, we're just going to use the gopher whirlwinds, and since Andy's so good with the whirlwind. Yeah. I mean, it's been many years since I competed in the Olympics, but I, I, I mean, I could probably still do all right with it. Let's see here. Can you do that? Oops. All right, you come you on here. <laughs> Andy lost some of his... Uh, here. It's getting caught on my pants. Carter, you want to try with this one? Okay, try it. There we go. There you go. There you go, Carter. If you had a shoe on it, it'd probably be easier. So again, with these. So my skills have diminished a little bit. With these, make it competitive for your kids, for your family, okay? okay that's right. See how many in a row you can do. Okay, see how many you can do. 
She needs shoes on. Yeah. Yep. So See again, how many you can do in a minute. Yep. Okay, make it challenging. So these again, these are all parts of the of the jump rope pack, and those were uh, individual activities. So again, there's individual, there's partner, and there is family activities. Yep. So now we're going to get to the, oh, yeah, the we partner could, activities. We, we could have just stayed, stayed, stayed out outside. There. Sorry, Joe. Video Joe, we're <laughs> moving back and forth. Putting them to work. All right, so on this one, I'm going to jump inside the rope, and I'm going to hold one of the handles. Andy's going to be on the outside, and he's going to twirl the other one around. OK, ready? I have no idea what we're doing. So you're just swinging it when okay. I swing. Oh, got okay, it. Ready? Got it, yeah. Oh, yeah. But hang on to it. All right, one more time. One more time. Then we can switch it up. Oh. All right, I got to be two. <laughs> Um, Get in there. I got no. I got. I got to have right-handed. There we go. I feel better about this. All right. Ready? ready? Oh, he likes to go faster. Look at that. Oh, he there got go. me. All right. So that was one of the partner activities. Um, and then, so this this next partner activity we're going to be on the inside, both of us. Is the sun shining off my forehead in your eyes? No, you're oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, we're, we're both in oh, here. We're both in here. Okay. All right, ready? And we're going to both jump here. We're going to both jump. All right, ready? ready? Go. Go. Oh. oh. Got to try, we got we to complete it. <laughs> Two wide body, older, older men isn't as easy. All right, ready? Yeah, yep. Go. Oh. Well, we got, we got <laughs> two, one and a half. <laughs> Good effort. Good yeah. effort. Okay. So that was that. Um, now for the family activities or the group activities, um, we're going to do some double dutch. Okay? Do you guys know how to double dutch? No. Oh, this is the one, yeah. <clears throat> so Carter, you're going to jump when you're going to try to time it out and you're going to try to jump in when we're turning, okay? Um Carter, why don't you go put on some shoes? I don't want you to get hurt with those sandals. And Kira, you can jump in with, with, no, so with no shoes on. Okay. Okay. Ready? So how do we do this again? So you got to try to time it out and try jump it. in. You can, yeah, however you want to get in there. <laughs> when it's at the top, go in there and jump. One, two, three, go. Go, go Deeds. You got to time it. Ready? Go, go. It's not gonna hurt if you if you go it's in. It's not gonna hurt, honey. One, go, two, jump. Oh. <laughs> I tried to adapt it. Sorry. We don't do a whole lot of double dutch in here in Minnesota, <laughs> so we apologize for this. <laughs> but you guys get the you guys idea. Get the idea. So all that Good stuff try, comes Good with try. the jump rope pack. Yeah. So again, you get two. Um, these are the 16 footers, right? So two 16 footers. Yep. Seven, eight, nine foot, and so on. So sorry, that was that was that is kind of hard. We'll, we'll have you come back out again, honey. Okay. We uh, yeah, we didn't practice this one um, before we started. So <laughs> um, so that was the one of the family activities. Again, with these packs, you get 25 plus activities for each level: individual, partner, and family activities. So um, again, all that stuff is included with the subscriptions. Okay. So um, we'll get to uh, hopefully answer some questions and get to some of your answers to our questions here before we move on to the first or the next pack. Yeah, again, so that's the jumping pack and uh, we're going to get on to, uh, I got another question for you. So uh, Adam's going to look to see if we have any shout outs again. Tell us where you're calling from or where you're, you're logging in from, what the weather is, if you have any questions for us, um, how you're liking the program, how do you like Adam's hair today, Wh whatever you want to yeah. comment on. So. <laughs> Um, any answers to our first question? Um, all right, let's see here. What was that question? I forgot already. <laughs> the first question was, do you have any special plans for your students for the end of the school year? All right. Uh, nobody has answered that question. Okay, so it was a bad question on my part. <laughs> I apologize. We have some more shout outs and more people commenting though. Okay. Um, Caroline Elizabeth from North Carolina. Hey Caroline. Um, she said her dad is deployed to Minneapolis right now with FEMA. Oh, okay. So, huh. very Thank cool. Thank you for your dad. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for what he's doing. 
Um, Eric Myers said the seg ju segmented jump ropes are great. We agree. Yeah. Um, Marsha, hi from Michigan, 55 and sunny. The Thanks, Mitten. The Mitten. The Mitten. Thanks for joining us yeah. again, Marsha. Uh, Mary, Mary said, y'all are so real life. Well, we don't <laughs> edit these. This is live. This is go for live. Yeah. And then Tanya Robinson Freeman said she's impressed with you with our ability to turn double dutch so well. Thank you. Thank you. That was another skill that I just missed the Olympics on <laughs> years ago. And Dale Lopic, thanks for tuning in, Dale. Dale. Great, great work. You guys seem very athletic. <laughs> we get it from you, Dale. Yeah, we get we it do. from you. We do. So uh, before I get on to my next question, again, I wanna I wanna mention. So again, each of these packs come with um, these instructions. So again, very well detailed. So when the pack gets out to the actual parents, it gives them all these actual activities. So again, uh, here's what comes in the pack, um, how you begin, um, jump rope challenge tips. We should have probably read that before we did try right. doing the double dutch yeah. thing. Um, and then there's 33 individual challenges. And then there are, with this one, there's the whirlwind challenge, challenges. There's two player five, um, two player partner challenges, and there are five family and group challenges. So again, very well written, lots of great activities in these. And again, we have those for everyone. So here's the jumping and skipping. Here's the sport ball pack, which I'll get into next. Yep. And then we have the scooter pack, which will be a lot of fun as well. And so. Tanya, Tanya did mention most kids are afraid of the double dutch. So yeah. Kira yeah. doesn't have to feel so bad. Yeah, um, you did good, honey. <laughs> and then she she recommends starting with one and then adding the second one in there. Yeah, awesome. I'm guessing while, because I'm sure the, the thing that they're most afraid of is actually getting in. Getting in there, which, which she was. She right. wasn't. So thank you, Tanya, for, for the advice. So, yes, thank you, Tanya. Now I'll get on to the set, my <clears throat> second question. Uh, I apologize for the first one maybe not being so good, so uh, I'll do another one here. So. What social distancing activities do you have planned uh, for you and your family this summer? So uh, we know school year is kind of winding down across most states. I know I talked to Colorado last week. I think they're like in their last week or two. Mm -hmm. I know my kids are winding down as well. So um, what activities, what social distancing activities do you have planned for you and your family this summer? So um, we'd love to hear from you on that. And then we're going to get into the sports ball pack. Carter and Kira, I need your, I need your help. Sorry, um, we are going to. Uh, I'll just you go ahead, Van. Okay. You go ahead, show it off, and then uh, I'll be I'll be right with you guys. So, so the first thing we have in the pack is the Instructs rubber basketball. Okay. So let me get that. So again, this one is we just opened this one up, so it's just an Instructs basketball. Okay, you got your hand placements right on there. This one's tough to see, but we do have one. Um, blown up already so for both right-handed and left-handed shooters okay you can see the handprints on there where they should be putting their hands okay to to perfect their jump shots yeah, and I'll have I'll have Carter and Kira come out here with the football and the basketball we'll show them as well the next thing is uh, former rubber soccer ball so you got a rubber soccer ball size 5 um, nice. for this one and then the instructs rubber football so again same thing they get the hand placements on there to teach you um, the proper form and how to throw a football. And then we have the Dura ball, so a playground ball. Uh, we have that one blown up right here. So you got the Dura ball. These things you can boot. Yes. Playing kickball, <laughs> these, things, yep. these things really, really fly, kind of fun. Uh, the next one is the Cowabunga beach ball. Okay, we got the Cowabunga beach ball right here. Very, very durable. Very beach heavy duty. It's yep. not your. The not the uh, one you, you, know, you get from the dollar store that, yeah. that'll pop after a few hits. These are very, very durable. We use them with uh, one of our action team games called Sturty. Yep. And you're basically throwing foam balls at these at these bigger size um, Kalbunga balls. So they're very, very well built. And then lastly, there's an itty bitty coated foam balls in that pack so as well. So one of those. Yeah. So we get that. So we're going to actually do some activities again with this pack. Um, we're going to do three individual, two partner, and a family one. And the first one we're going to do is, I'm just going to show you the instruct patterns on the actual ball. So Carter and Kier, if you guys want to come out here. So like Adam said, there are different patterns on here. So Carter, you're right-handed. So if you want to grab the football and put your, your right hand 
Uh, right here it says right hand. So go ahead, put your right hand and cover on up green. on the green. Yep. So that's, and you're going to want your fingers touching the actual laces. And then that's how you would throw a football, right? And I think my, Kira, my daughter Kira might have went inside. So again, the basketball would be if I'm right-handed, I'd place my, my uh, left hand right here. There you are, honey. So here's the basketball. So put your left hand right here, and then put your right hand on the other green. So that's how you would actually shoot a basketball. That's proper form. And then when you shoot, you want to make sure that you're, you're kind of snapping your wrist. So you can come out, come out here. Yep. Oh, we didn't move the truck. So again, you just go ahead, do the proper form and shoot and snap your wrist. You want to kind of snap your wrist like this, honey. And Carter, you can throw that to Adam. Yep. Good throw. Just like that. So these are meant to be very easy. If you're left-handed, uh, it shows you how to do left-handed as well. So, well, this is just showing you how oh. to shoot, honey. So right-handed. So those are the instruct ba uh, basketball and football that we have in the pack. Um, what so else the do next need? thing we're going to do is we are going to do the flip-flop. So I will show what the flip-flop is, and then we'll see if Carter and Kier can do the flip-flop. So basically what you're doing is you're going to try switching your hand. Carter, you want to? <laughs> so, so they can see what it is, buddy. Get out of the way, Carter. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So you're going you're gonna to be going like this. Now, if, it's, if, you're, if you're younger, you can do the bounce like this. Yep. Now you try it. Carter, you can use this basketball here. Yep. <clears throat> so Joe can Get see you. Drop it now. Just try now to Now you got to move hands. your other hand. Now switch your hands. There, there you, you go. go. Yep. yep. Yeah, good job, good. buddy. So how do you do it here, I'll show you. It's easier if you just do the bounce. Start out with the bounce like this. I didn't have it bounce. You didn't let it bounce, yep. That's called the flip-flop. Hey, <laughs> nice work. There you go. It's challenging. you got to challenge yourself. Good job. So that's <laughs> called the flip-flop. The next one we're going to do is we're going to have, um, we're going to do another activity. So Carter and Kira, you want to come up here? Here you go, Kira. Um, you guys, actually, you guys keep, keep oh. the balls. Keep the ball over here. Get, um, Adam, you want to grab a ball? Sure. And, and we're going to do a little activity. I'll just grab the soccer ball. So we're going we're gonna to line up over here. Hold the ball. And we're going we're gonna to put the balls between our legs. And we're going to hop down to the grass and hop back. Without, yes, without dropping the ball. You got you to gotta come back. Ready? Set. Go. Oh boy! Back, back, back! Oh, oh good job! <laughs> good job, buddy! <laughs> good job, Carter. Good job. <laughs> you had the biggest good ball job. here, Carter. Yeah, so that, was was hard. That, was, that was bigger. So, again, different activities that are all part of this pack as well. Um, we're going to do now, we're going to do a partner activity. Hold the ball, please. We're going to do step back. So Carter and Kira will use the basketball, and I, Kira and I will use the football. OK. What? Oh, Carter and I. Put that down, buddy. So we're going to be come up about like this far, so across the line from Adam. So um, you are right here, Carter, and face Adam. And come up, come up closer. And you're going to do this with me. And we're going to do chest passes. And we're just going to do a normal Once pass. you complete a pass to me, we both take a step back. Okay. And so you guys are going to do the football pass. If you catch the ball, take a step back and you will step throw back, back to me. Okay? Ready? And we'll do chest pass. Step back. Step back. This is called step back. Oh. It, now let's go we'll ahead start, start again, buddy. We'll start over. Whoa. Spread out all your fingers on the ball. There you go. Step back into the there truck. Go. There you go. Get it here. Get it here. Chest pass. Nice. You now you step it. back. Nice, Carter. Nice catch. 
Nice catch. Oh, look at that. Nice. Mo moss. So that's called, that's called, good try, bud. So that's called step back. Again, another activity uh, in the, ball, the sport ball pack. Uh, the next one's called surprise catch. I suppose we could do the same thing. So line up like we did, close. Here you go, Carter. We'll use this one. For and now. you're going to turn around and face that way. Carter, you're going to turn around and face that way. And when I say Kira, you're going to turn around and I'm going to throw, throw the ball to you. And I'm going to say, I'm going to throw it and then I'm going to say Carter and you got to turn around and catch it. Yeah, so we're going to throw it first and then say your name and then you got to turn around fast enough. Okay. Carter. Nice. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Kira. Nice. Now go further. Okay, take a step, step take a forward. Step. Carter. Kira. Oh. Nice. It's tough. Go further. Kira. Oh, nice. Almost got her in the chicklets. <laughs> Carter. Kira. Nice, buddy. Nice. Nice. One more step. Turn that way. Carter. Kira. Nice. Nice. Good, good job. job, guys. Good, good job. So that's called, <clears throat> what did I call that? Surprise catch. Surprise catch. So again, another activity in the sport ball pack. And then lastly, we're going to play crab soccer. So yeah, good job, honey. You know exactly what we're doing. So we're just going to use um, these two goals. So th this is one goal right there, and that's one goal right there. You want to be the goalie or you want to play? We'll play you, me you, and Carter you versus you two. Yeah. All right. So you got to get down in a crab walk. We can both kind of be goalies. Yeah, we don't need a set, a set goalie. All right. Go get ah! oh. Go, go. <laughs> oh, oh go! Good job, buddy. Nice good job. job. Oh, we're good. It's in the grass. Okay, you want to go good grab job. that, buddy? Good job. Good job. So that's crab soccer. <clears throat> Obviously, more people. Uh, if you're on a on a grassy field, it's a little bit easier. So, um, I think that's the few we wanted to highlight from the sport ball pack. And now let's do a few more shout outs. Yeah, we can get to some shout outs and see answer if anybody some answered my questions. All right, let's see here. So Marsha said they are hoping for a softball season, um, even if it's a shorter one, and continue with walking and biking. Yeah, yep. So that's a good, always a good one. I know we've done a lot of biking and walking in our family. Um, regarding social distancing, um, Mary recommends maybe we can do a session in the future on activities for social distancing when we go back to school in yeah, August. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Very, be, yeah, we're always looking for, for different ideas to, to do these live sessions on, so keep them coming. Um, that'd be a really good one. Um, Brian Cleary said, good stuff, guys. Love these videos. Good. So thank, thank you, you guys. All right, let's see. Anybody else have any questions? Um, no. Okay. That's it. So. All right, so I got another question we'll get into here before Adam gets into the scooter pack, which we'll unveil as well. Uh, unveil as well. Um, this next question is, with many sports coming back, which sport are, they, are you the most excited to watch? So with baseball, I know baseball just announced like last night that they're talking about 4th of July week yep, coming back. So coming back. with all of them coming back, uh, what are you most excited to watch? Is it football? Is it baseball? Is it softball? Is it... Golf, you know, whatever golf, yeah, golf's a good one. I know golf. Uh, there's a live golf event this weekend, so I'm I saw Mike to that. Tyson might be making a comeback yeah. at, at 53. I would not want to take a he punch from him. He looks scary <laughs> yeah. at 53. Yeah. So, what are you excited to see? Um, so we'll do that, and then now we got some scooter yeah. stuff. Yeah. So get into. we'll we'll open up the deluxe pack of the Here scooter we go again. pack. Here's my. All right. So. And I'll, I can read them off, Adam. Yeah. What's in there? So go ahead. I have them here. Yeah. So, scooter pack. We have the um, two of the actual scooters. We have a red scooter, and we have the blue, blue scooter. scooter. You can see that they uh, nice handles, so that the kids can keep, get their hands inside the actual board. They're not pinching them. Yep. Um, nice, nice wheels on them. They're not the old kind of plastic wheels that would buckle pretty right. easy. Yeah, these are great on all surfaces. Okay, indoor, outdoor, in your kitchen, on the hardwood floors in your kitchen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't get the idea, Carter. Don't get any ideas, buddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the deluxe pack comes with two, and I believe the basic pack comes with one scooter. Yeah, yep. And then the other item 
are these foam, whoa, we're gonna use these anyways, so yeah. These two foam handles, okay? So you can do a lot of different things, scooter tennis, scooter whatever you can think of with, with paddles. Yeah, yep. Okay, and then also mix them, mix them in with the, the other equipment packs that you receive too. Um, use them with the, the itty bitty ball that comes with it and play tennis or table tennis, whatever you guys can think of. So again, in the basic pack, it comes with one handle, one scooter. Deluxe pack comes with two handle or two paddles and two scooters. So I was gonna say handle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, great, great uh, thought too, Adam. So it, when when parents have this description, <clears throat> they get to keep all the equipment. So each week they get a package, but you can still mix the stuff together. So yep. um, very cool stuff. So we have a few activities yeah, for we'll, this as well. We'll get uh, we'll get to these quick too. So individual, partner, and team or family activities. Um, so the first one that we're gonna do. Um, we're going to bring the, we'll just go outside and we'll stay out there. We're going to put the scooters on the ground and we're going to see how many push-ups we can do. Oh yeah. And we'll just do 10 seconds. All right. Okay. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I got 24. What did you get? <laughs> 37. Oh. You always beat me in these strength <laughs> challenges. Okay, so that was one of the um, individual activities. The next thing we're gonna do, um, I have drawn a big A in, the, in chalk on Andy's driveway. Obviously Adam and Andy, A, we had to the A &A use show. that in there. Yeah. Um, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our stomachs or on our chest, and we're just gonna paddle and trace the letter A. All right? Oh yeah, so smooth and fluent. Just like that, Andy, you're not you gonna want me do to do it too? <laughs> I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Look at that, oh, Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man. Nice one. And Time. These, these are at Andy's house, so he does practice. Um, at night and on the weekends, so that that's why he's so good, yeah. All right, so that was uh, two of the individual ideas. I'm just gonna grab these, Joe. All right, so now it's a sleigh ride. Who wants to go for a ride? Carter, you wanna sit on? <clears throat> so typically, we would have cones set up. Right here, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull Carter. He's gonna hold on to these. So he's gotta maintain his balance. Okay, yeah. so kick your legs up. Here. You're hold gonna on hold to on that. to this. Okay, kick your legs up. So we're just gonna go for a ride. And we're gonna try to move in and out. Whoa. Of the cones. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> good save, good save. <laughs> so you got to be careful here. All right, Carter. Next time we'll put on your helmet. <laughs> so oh, that was yeah. that was a partner activity for the sleigh ride. Oh, here. <clears throat> Thank you, buddy. Um, now we'll do go into the wheelbarrow push. So it's same same concept. Kira, you want to do this one? Or does so, mom, mom want to do it? <laughs> All right, Kira, come on. So out. Kira's gonna lay down on her stomach. And she's going to pick her feet up, and it's just going to be a wheelbarrow ride. <laughs> okay, and then try to make it some obstacles, going in and out of cones, going in and out of different obstacles. So that is the, wheel, the wheelbarrow push. Okay, now we'll get into the family activity. So this is kind of complicated, so all you guys want to come out here? I think we need Kenna too, right? <clears throat> yep, Kenna needs to join us. So one person is, is designated as the tagger. So we got these foam paddles. Who wants You're to be the tagger? You're going to use that as the tagger. Sure. You're going to tag Okay, Kenna's tag going to be the that. tagger. Okay, we need one person to be the ambulance driver. I think Carter had his hand up first. Yeah, I think Carter did. Sorry, okay, Carter's going to be the ambulance driver. So when, so when Kenna tags one of us, we're just going to freeze or we're going to go down on a knee. Shh, let, let, him, let him explain. We're going to go down on a knee. And Carter, you're going to bring a scooter, and you're going to pick us up, 
and you're going to bring us to the hula hoop. So that's the hospital or the doctor's office. Okay? As soon as we get back to the hula hoop, then we can get back into the, into the tag game again. Okay? Everybody sense. got it? So, Kenny, you're not going to tag Carter because he's the ambulance driver. So you're going to try, t you're gonna try tagging us. You're just going to try tagging us with the paddle. Okay? Here, go, here, go. Get away from her. <laughs> oh, tag. So, Carter, now I'll go to him. No, I have to get on the scooter and you have to push me. I have to get on the scooter and you have to push me. I have to get on it, oh. Carter. You have to, I have to sit yep, on this. Yeah, Carter, he has to sit, buddy. Now you have to push him Hey, back. push me, push me. All right. Okay, so now I can get back in the game. Carter, I, I, Carter, I got tagged. You got to come, come save me. Yep. All right. So, so I, I think you guys get the idea. Um, so another fun family activity with Thank the you, scooters. Thank so, you, Kenna. Thank you guys. Thank you, Kenna. Carter, Kira, thank you. Yeah. Um, so that was the family activity that we wanted to, to touch base on. So again, there's a lot of individual activities for all these, and there's maybe four or five or six different uh, partner activities or family activities. Yep. So that one's yours. Sweating. <laughs> it's warm out there. It's a blistery 58 <laughs> degrees, but the Feels sun's good. out. Feels good. Um, so I think we are going to get into our, our last shout outs and then we'll do a little recap and then we'll be out of here this was a long one we got some tacos to eat afterwards yeah, we, we, we earned them worked up our appetite we so. earned them um okay so uh, again with with these home pe packs um just keep in mind that um if you do purchase one you get ten dollars back towards the school um, for you guys so teachers out there really Try to share as much as you can of, of this information. Tell them to go to the website, um, home-pe.com. Um, so it's right there on the bottom of the screen. Send it out to your parents. Send it out to your kids. Um, really try to encourage that because, again, if 10 people buy it, that's an extra 100 bucks that you guys have for um, your, your PE program. So yeah. we know um, budgets are kind of tight. So... Try to push it as much as possible. And while Adam's looking for the last few comments or co shout outs here, uh, again, Thursday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, PE huddle number like six or seven, Jason Gemberling. Uh, that was pretty cool today to have him actually call, and I, I really enjoyed having a guest on the show. We might try doing more of that later, but Jason's a great guy. Good seeing you, Jason. Hopefully, again, you and the family are doing well. Um, thank you for tuning in, and good luck on Thursday with Dr. Pangrazy. 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Again, go ahead, register for that on our uh, gophersport.com uh, backslash home learning. Yep, for, you got it. For that. Um, and to answer the last question, Marcia um, replied saying she's looking forward to Major League Baseball and college football. Good. Uh, me too. Uh, I'll take any sport at this point. Where's she um, from? Did they say where she was from? Yeah, Marsha's been tuning in. I, I forget where she's from, but uh, yeah. I she's, wonder who she's she, rooting for. <laughs> is she, is she a, a Wolverines fan? or? A, she's or from Michigan. She's Mid from oh, the Mitten. Oh, she's the Mitten. So, so yeah, so it's either the Spartans or the Wolverines probably. Yeah. So. Oh, neither. <laughs> Central or Western. Yeah. But not, uh, um, and yeah, sorry about the Tigers too, Marsha. Um, yeah. Big Twins fans here, so. Yeah. Well, again, if you're looking for something <clears throat> to do tonight with your with the rest of your family and friends, again, go ahead, pop that popcorn, sit down with a nice, uh, comfy a blanket, and watch us again. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying these. We're enjoying them. Yeah, my we're kids, a lot my of fun. kids are super excited every week to be doing this. Uh, hopefully, you're finding some of these things fun uh, to do. We're trying to make it li uh, live and fun and, and crack some jokes, but yeah. also show you guys some cool, unique activities. So, from the bottom of our hearts, at Gopher, thank you for what you're doing. Um, getting through um, these last couple weeks for distance learning. Um, we appreciate you more than you guys know, and um, we hope for the best for the next school year. Yeah, well said. I, don't, I can't think of anything to add. You can, <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. So, um, Again, thank you guys for tuning in. We, we uh, hope to see you guys next week, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time for episode number 8 of wow. Go For Live. So, Crazy. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good week.